This is one of my biggest um, olive and it's going to one of my customers. I'm glad rid of it, but I'm not going to be looking forward to having to put this in the container. It's heavy. It's very heavy. Therefore, I'm also happy I'm getting rid of it because now I don't have to deal with it after today. This is the container this lady brought. Um, she's rather petite. Actually, this container looks almost big enough to be her bathtub. But um, she found this, fell in love with it, wanted to find something to put in it. Well, I happen to have a big tree to go with it. So, before we start this project, there's a few things that I wanted to point out. These are commonly referred to as cloud legs. Uh, a little bit on the fancy side, and you can see the indication that it could be a cloud. Well, that's where I saw a problem that could Quite heavy. Up. I could still pick it up. This tree itself is quite heavy, and I can kind of move it around. But once this goes into here, and the depth with the fresh soil, it's going to be nearly impossible to lift. And what will typically happen is we tend to slide these. Well, with the cloud legs, it can get damaged and sheared off. So that was the problem that I saw as I get to the next day. Now, if you had a leg like this, it's flat, uniform, and not too high, there's less chance of damage. Also, it, it forms like an L. That also gives you more strength. So what I did was I built this platform. And it's big enough so that away from the pot, so two people could pick this up without having to deal with that. This is going to be wider, so things going to be in your face. And it'd be too, too difficult for people to grab onto here. So I built this sturdy platform so that two people could carry it on. And what I'll do is before it gets transported, I'm going to strap this down onto this board so that this becomes one unit and no stress on the leg. You gotta plan things very carefully and think about how to transport. The next part where I have to put this thing, how big this thing is, uh, from outside to outside, it's almost 31 inches. The depth is about eight on the inside and from the outside it's about nine and a half so it is quite a heavy pot also when it gets large the walls get thicker for strength oh uh, as they say in showbiz uh, it's on with the show and get that big old plant in this big old pot For now, I'm just going to trim this, get it to the basic shape first, put it in there, and get the final. But there's a lot of things that needs pruning, so I'll go ahead and do that, and then get it into that container. Well, 10 years in this box. It's not bad. Just kind of loosen it up. Uh, and we'll see if it fits in the pot. But basically, the roots are in pretty good shape. Very fibrous. There's no large roots that are going to be hindering our progress. Everything's been prepped very well over the years so that uh, we're not going to run into a uh, major problem. Whew! Got it in. 
I need to make a little bit of uh, adjustment. It's um, primarily the side, it's tilting too far back. So I'm going to tilt it slightly forward and make some adjustments and I think it's going to be good. Fresh soil. That means that this will not have to be repotted for a good five to ten years. Maybe even longer considering that I didn't repot it for probably over ten years in that wooden box. And this has got the depth. Um, I think twice as much depth now. Fresh soil, fertilizer, it's going to be happy. But if you do shows, this is a showstopper. If you have a large house, this is very proportional to your large house. Um, America is a big country. We need big bonsai. One last thing about this tree. The, before it gets transported, it should be strapped down so that it will not shift on the board. I think it's very important that it's secured as one unit and two people handling the two ends. It's going to be heavy, it's going to be awkward, but it cannot slide or like we mentioned before, the legs could get damaged. So I think this should do it. There's four points, two in the front, two in the back, tied together and cinched. This is the final step of getting this to the homeowner. It's going to be strapped down to the board, so as two people pick it up, even if it's not level, this tree will not slide off. And during the trip back, on the back of the pickup, it will not bounce around and damage the tree, the truck, or knock off the legs of this big pot. An awkward situation of having to move this. This will definitely make a statement in your yard, in your bonsai collection, and definitely so if you take part in a bonsai show. Size does matter, but be careful of your back and the plant itself uh, along with the pot when transporting. So this is Hiro Matsuda saying goodbye and I'll see you in other episodes of Bonsai and other related art forms, but hopefully not as big as this one. Please check